Are you still living in a dirt hut? This is a flat world. It only has dirt. Would you like to live in a nice Roman house instead? That does look cozy. And do I have a deal for you? This fine Roman house can be yours for the low price of 24 diamond blocks. I can't get diamonds on a flat world. Oh, well, would you at least watch the tutorial video then? I can do that. Hello, my name is Triadar. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a Roman house in Minecraft. Let's get started. So firstly, let's take a look at our small Roman house here. It's going to be a type 1 Roman house of a series of, I think, about 11 or 12, possibly. It's going to take this simple design here and expand it off that way and off around that way and then upwards as well with a whole bunch of different configurations. Let's uh, fly around it for a moment, though. As you can see around front in good Roman style, of course, we have two Corinthian columns holding up a little a small decorative pediment. We have a generous number of windows in the house as well. And of course, a pitched uh, roof up here with uh, some roof tiles and everything. Of course, a non-Roman feature is going to be this chimney. If we were going to do a pure Roman house, we would, of course, want to build a hypocaust. Uh, but, because we have campfires in Minecraft and they just look really cool, I always like to have a, a chimney up there with some campfires. You know, because it just makes everything feel just a little bit more homely, I think. Uh, so that is a, a concession that we're going to be adding. Um, also, you can place over the door for you to put your name on it to let people know that you, you do indeed live here. So let's go inside. So, of course, we have a nice mosaic floor. Here, a done of blue and black glazed terracotta, like so, and just a simple checkerboard pattern. Our interior is, of course, made out of uh, fine carved woods. And, of course, we have our fireplace here as well. And we want to put campfires there where the, the torches are and everything. Uh, and we do also have an attic. We want to crawl up the ladder here for a moment. There is another space up here for you to, say, uh, put some storage up here if you want to. You could line the walls with some chests and everything. Be a good spot for your storage, and you could put all your workshops and your bed down here and everything. Uh, but yeah, the house is going to be uh, presented as being undecorated um, because uh, you need to have some fun with uh, decorating it out yourself. I want to do just absolutely everything for you. There does need to be, uh, be some room or personalization of the house and everything to suit your individual taste. Uh, now for the house, if you want to build one, uh, you are going to be needing 312 blocks of diorite, 182 blocks of tuff, 7 blocks of cobbled deep slate, 647 blocks of cobblestone, 185 oak planks, 391 oak tree trunks, 110 cobblestone slabs, 86 stone brick slabs, 118 deep slate tile slabs, 43 oak stairs, 9 ladders, 14 cobblestone stairs, for all the windows, 38 blocks of light blue stained glass blocks and panes, 332 stone bricks, 36 chiseled stone bricks, 208 stone brick stairs, 9 trap doors, 131 oak slabs, four cobblestone walls, one door sign, two large ferns for decoration, one dark oak door for your front door, for the roof, 183 red nether brick, uh, and for the floors, we need 70 blocks each of blue and black glazed terracotta. So all told, um, as far as number of materials, it's, it's pretty good, uh, but we've got a good selection of materials as well. I don't think you'll have too much trouble finding those things. And uh, let's talk about the dimensions briefly. So the dimensions for the house are as follows. Uh, not counting the, the, uh, the red square down here on the bottom. It is uh, 24 by 23. And it's going to be 23 blocks tall. Uh, but it's going to be uh, another block deep here for the porch. 
I haven't included this grass down here in the, in the bill of materials. You're just going to need a little bit of extra cobblestone here for the landing of your front porch down here. Uh, so I should also remark that uh, the world will be available for download here in the video description for both Java and Bedrock versions. So if you need to come here and take a look at any of the phases or anything, or you just want to look at the completed house model or the materials list or anything, you will be able to do that. And of course, uh, as typical of the tutorial, it's going to be formatted in a slice-by-slice -slice version. We're going to be 3D printing the thing from the ground up one block level at a time. And even though this house probably is small enough to do a block-by-block uh, -block time lapse, uh, most people tell me they prefer this format, so it's what we're going to do. Uh, so, now a lot of the house is going to be symmetrical, except for the chimney over there. So the first thing you are going to want to do is lay down your porch here, and the porch is going to be uh, how many blocks? And so from this corner here, it's going to be what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's going to be eight blocks from there, and across it's going to be what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if you wanted to uh, uh, mark a center line right here, real quick. You want to do, uh, was it four blocks on either side of the, cent uh, the center line there? Not counting that block. And then behind that, we want to lay down some tuff in this pattern here. Of course, so uh, just three blocks back from here. Oops. Uh, you're going to put down uh, three cobblestone stairs for your doorway. And then on either side, we want to put down some tuff in this pattern here. All right, for the windows, we are going to be doing some uh, chiseled stone bricks right here and some stone brick stairs, putting tough behind that and filling the rest of it in with just plain cobblestone. Another a bit of a uh, window right here. Space out one block and then a three by three thing of tough for the chimney. And then, of course, another window. Turn the corner, another window, skip a block, another window, except this one is three blocks wide. Then skip a block and another window. Turn the corner, another one, of course. And then skip for what? Um, one, two, three, four, five blocks there. And add another one, and then turn the corner and do the same thing. So there's the entire thing from the top down. And we will go on here to the next phase, where as you can see, we're already going to be putting in our mosaic floor. Uh, but firstly, let's do the outside. So here, on top of the tuff, you want to go around and put four stone brick stairs on top of each, each other, like so. And then for the doorway, we want uh, three more cobblestone stairs, and then two stone bricks on either side, skip a block. And then uh, do two more chisel stone bricks, but then do right side up stone brick stairs here to make this little base for our window frame. Of course, all these little bases for the window frame are exactly the same. Just stack them on top. Here on top of all the tuff and cobble you put in, you want to go around and put in stone bricks. Uh, two blocks thick in general. And add the window frames around the side on the back. Just like so. All those exactly the same, just like how we did before. And then one block back here, we want to have a stone brick and then a, uh, a piece of uh, oak tree trunk on its side right there. And then behind that, we want to do this checkerboard alternating pattern of the blue and the black glazed terracotta. Now, as you can see, these are designed in no particular pattern. Uh, indeed, if you want to get a randomized pattern, when you place these, just place a block, turn around, place a block, turn around, you know. And just do that like so in a big checkerboard pattern to get them randomized. Of course, if you would like to make a pattern out of these, uh, you can do that if you want to. It's, it's just personal taste. If you want to have some other type of floor in here that's not glazed terracotta, you can also uh, do that as well. This is just um, this is one of my preferred floor, floor patterns. I really like how it goes together. almost looks like it could be a nice carpet thing. Uh, but it uh, uh, doubles uh, very well for like a good Roman mosaic also. You know, Minecraft, it's, it's, this is as detailed of a Roman mosaic as we can get at this block level anyway. And we do have uh, three blocks of cobbled deep slate over here for our fireplace frame. 
All right. Next phase up from here, we're going to start building the walls of our house. And we want to put uh, two blocks of dye right here for our uh, Corinthian columns right there. If you want to, you can go ahead and extend these up to a uh, full, full six blocks. Both of those there for that. And behind that, we want to uh, have uh, two grass blocks. I don't know if I included that on the list. I think I forgot the grass blocks. But anyway, grass or dirt. Um, and uh, on the sides of those, we want to make little planters. Like so with the, with the trap doors and everything right there. And then behind here, we want to start framing out uh, our doorway with some oak tree trunks here. Then behind this, we have uh, various intervals of cobblestone and diorite. Just like so. We have a little gap here now for our fireplace chimney. And then here along the back, we'll take a look at the interior in a moment. Uh, but we're going to take a look at the exterior first and then the interior. And as we go, just feel free to pause and, and look at what's been built and replicate that on your screen. Okay. Uh, so here for the interior, you can see we've got some oak tree trunks in various configurations. Some of them are straight up and some of them are on their sides. Right here for our window uh, frames and sills and everything. And we've got a couple of cobblestone walls here and a slab here around for our um, uh, fireplace. Just like so. And then here is the rest of the pattern for the wood. And over here, of course, we've got our little ladder to begin building our access to get up to our uh, attic. And as we build, this will also give you, give you nice access to crawl up on top of your building. All right, uh, next phase, let's uh, take a quick look from the top down. Uh, so here, you can go ahead and install your door if you want to. And we're stacking up uh, more cobblestone and now stone bricks for the exterior. Uh, no, I saw, I'm sorry, I meant to say diorite and stone bricks for the exterior. And for the windows, you can see we're going to be alternating our full blocks and our panes of stained glass. And before I, before I get away from that, let me just fly back here and quickly show you. You can see we've got a simple, simple alternating arrangement for our glass for these windows. Now you could put all panes or all glass in, in these if you wanted to, but in doing this, I find it gives a more pleasing window. So uh, all the windows are pretty much the same, by the way. Just like so, all the way around with uh, uh, diorite window frames and then the alternating panes and full blocks of glass. Uh, for the interior, we have some more tree trunks, but also some oak planks, just like so. A little slab here for our fireplace. And uh, do the same with all the other windows and everything on the interior, like that there. All right, next level up, you can go ahead and plant your double ferns if you want to, and put down your sign here. To let everyone know who lives here. Uh, here also, we're extending up now. You can see we're alternating. Wherever you put a full block of glass, then put a pane on top of that. Conversely, wherever you had a pane, put a foot of full block on top of that. And do that for all the windows and extend up the diorite around it and uh, fill in everything with cobble. This level here. Pretty easy phase. Uh, here for our mantle, we just want to have some upside down stone brick stairs. Or, uh, also, you can put um, uh, polished andesite. And generally, I prefer to use that these days instead of the stone brick stairs. It might give your mantle just a little bit more polish on it, as it were. Uh, so here, for our doorway, of course, we have some more oak tree trunks. 
and more stone bricks and diorite and glass on this phase. I think you can see what we're doing with that. We're now just alternating the cobble and the stone bricks and doing the same for the glass and everything in all the windows, just like so, all around the house. For the interior, more oak, of course. We want to have some trap doors here because we need to hide this stone brick here as well for our chimney. Of course, I suppose we could just make this a, a wooden block, but then our chimney would be, be uh, partially wood, and uh, that could potentially be a bad idea. We don't want our whole, uh, whole house going up. We have fire takers on and everything. All right, next phase here. A little bit more detail over the doorway. And same deal for the windows. We're back to cobblestone and dar right now and the blue stained glass alternating all the way around, just like so. And the interior is pretty much the same. Everything, we're just extending it up. Another block level. Another trap door. And everything over here. All right, next level up. Now we are putting a lentil over a doorway here with some diorite and some upside down stone brick stairs. Same deal for the windows. We're done building our windows now, so we're just going to cap all of that off with some diorite. Just like so, and then put the upside down stone brick stairs in all the top corners. All the way around your house. All right, here on the interior, really easy phase. Uh, oak tree trunks on their sides, all the way around. Just like so. All right, next phase, uh, upside down stone brick stairs right here and upside down cobblestone stairs here for our Corinthian capitals. Uh, but every place we had a window, you wanna go around and put the upside down stone brick stairs there. Or also, you, this is another place you could convert all these if you wanted to, to uh, polished andesite. Would look quite nice here as well. All of those uh, so on the interior here now, we want to come around and add some crown molding made out of upside down oak stairs in a big rectangle all the way around, except for here, of course, we have to crawl up our ladder. So we have to let, leave, leave a little uh, gap there for it. Uh, next phase. Out here, we want to put a little bit more decoration over our doorway, a couple blocks of diorite and some stone brick slabs. Here, to finish off our Corinthian capitals, of course, we have the upside down stone brick stairs on all four sides to represent our acanthus leaves. And here as well, we have a bit of diorite hiding back here and this semicircular uh, pediment design over the windows, just like so. And you want to do all the windows the same. Just like that there. Uh, this one's going to be like the front door, though, because it's three blocks wide instead of two. But all the ones on the side are the same. From the top here, you can see, of course, we're adding in our floor slash ceiling for the next level. So to uh, crawl down here and take a look at that, you can see what we're doing on the inside. We want to have these oak beams go across our ceiling right here, and then just one transverse beam go across here. And in between all the holes, fill that in with the oak slabs. Just like so. All right, next phase, pretty easy phase. We want to go around and put tough. So like you see here, to build out our porch pediment, we want to have a couple blocks. We want to have three blocks out that way, and then just connect it there, and then three blocks back this way. And every place we had on top of the stone bricks, we want to go around and put tough on top of that. Not on the chimney, though. 
There's a stray block right there. That uh, that block definitely shouldn't be there. It's like uh, one small mistake in the construction. Uh, but yeah, go around and line everything out with tough. Right here, and on the interior, we want to have oak tree trunks uh, pretty much all facing up, except for where we've got our ladder and then over here by our chimney. All right, next phase up from that, really easy phase. Every place you put the tuff on the last phase, go around and put diorite on top of that, except for the chimney. And on the interior, go around and put uh, oak planks, except for three places where we have some oak tree trunks. All right, next phase here. Let's just start on the exterior now. We're getting up to the roof level. Uh, so uh, we want, now that we've built our entablature here, we want to put the cornice on it. And we're going to be doing that with the uh, upside down stone brick stairs. We want to wrap these all around. We want to have uh, two extra slabs here for our raking cornice for our pediment right there. Uh, but we want to have those go all around like so. Just wrap them around, put the extra slabs on like this here, all the way around, straight, like so. And behind that, just fill it in with uh, straight cobblestone. I think that's, uh, I think that's what I did down here. And if you want to, you can, you can hide a torch up here for some lighting for your porch. And, uh, oh, there, there's also one little last slab right here on top of that. I mixed if I missed uh, that earlier on the interior here though we can see we want, we want to extend the oak planks up but we also want to have some slabs right here and these are going to be for our roof beams and they're just three blocks apart from each other all right next phase here you can see we are now starting in on our roof tiles made with the red nether brick and the deep slate tiles here for our pediment design though, we want to have some slabs and full blocks and uh, more slabs of stone brick, cobblestone, and then hide some diorite behind that. And this pattern here, and also make this pattern here as well for the roof. We want to do the same pattern again here for the sides, like so. Uh, cobblestone slabs here and die right behind that. Keep extending up your chimney. Do the same thing over here that you just did on, on that section there. And then turn the corner. We want to have, of course, some more roof slabs back here. Just like so. And everything over here is going to be uh, what we did on the other side, except that we won't have the chimney. right there okay so I think you can see that the roof for the most part if you draw a line down it the right side is symmetrical to the left side except for the chimney uh, let's uh, take a look in here so we have some oak tree trunks on their sides and to serve as uh, some structural uh, roof uh, supports roof beams we of course have just some oak slabs the same on both sides right here Like so. Let's uh, take a look at the next phase here. Getting ready to cap all that off. Take a look here again at the uh, pediment. Just like so. And the roof tiles. You can see the roof tiles form a repeating checkerboard pattern here. Just like this here. And then put in the dividing lines with the cobble. And over here by the chimney. And for the back of the house. And this side over here. A 
And let's drop down in the attic. As you can see, our uh, roof beams are just about to touch each other. Just like so. And you can see we've got more oak tree trunks on their sides here. We're, just, we're alternating those with the, the slabs and everything. Alright, next phase here. And the home stretch now, almost done. And so we can finish off our pediment here by adding a couple blocks of diorite. And if you want to, to go ahead and add a few more blocks of diorite right there, that'll finish off the, the little one decorative finial we have on the building. And we have some slabs behind that connecting over here. Two yet more roof tiles. All our roof tiles are coming up to the top here and meeting in the middle. Just like so. Take a look over here by our chimney. And along the back, you can see it's just a repeating pattern of what we've already done. And same deal over here for the side. And uh, let me just uh, break one of these and drop down in here. So we can see the completed design here for the attic and everything. So this is ready for you to move into. And uh, with that done, we're just focusing on finishing off the roof now. So we've just got more roof tiles. right here except for where the chimney comes up just like so extending all of our uh, cobblestone ribbing and everything and then on this uh, next to last phase over here we of course want to cap the thing off with a ridge line of cobblestone slabs just like so we should have a st um what right another break uh, below that like so, and then a bit more here, stone bricks for our chimney. And then for the last phase, on top of that, we just want to continue your, your chimney up with cobblestone, diorite, and then just do cobblestone again, but go around and put upside down stone bricks. And a big square around that. And then for the very last things, cap it off with a two tall by, what is this, three, three by four of tough. And then also up here, once you're done, if you want to, perhaps uh, perhaps right down there, you can put some campfires. So you'll have the maximum amount of smoke coming out of your chimney. And once you have done that last finishing touch, your Roman house will be complete. So I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial for the Roman house. Remember, the world is available for down in the video description. As I said, this is going to be part part one, probably of a series of Roman houses I'm going to do. We're going to take this Roman house that we've already built, and then we're going to add a little portico on the side there. And then after that, in the next video after that, we will add probably a side room on the other side there. And, and then eventually we'll start adding uh, more stories and everything, and we'll have a really big complex house by the time we're done. So I hope you have uh, enjoyed building the house, and I want to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.